Let's turn to some breaking news now out of Afghanistan. At least 22 people have been killed after a car bomb exploded in Lakshargah in Helmand province. More than 50 people were injured in the attack just days before the Eid al-Fitr celebrations. And we can cross live now to Bilal Sarwari in Kabul for the latest on that attack. Hi, Bilal. This marks yet another in a growing chain of attacks across the country. How did this happen and who might be behind it? It's a very dangerous and demoralizing uh, trend. Uh, obviously, Helmand is the stronghold, one of the strongholds of the Taliban. Uh, we understand from police uh, sources in the city of Lashkarga that uh, teachers, uh, government employees, and uh, police uh, officers and soldiers are among those killed and injured. Uh, you can just imagine uh, how painful these attacks uh, will be for the families of those who will be picking up uh, coffins today and the weight of every coffin for a mother, uh, for a widow, I think is, is, is quite hard to describe in words. But it's important to notice that the Afghan government uh, simply uh, continues to fail on this front. Uh, banks have been targeted before by the militants in various parts of the country, including in the city of Lashkarga. So if you have several hundred people, uh, your police officers, your government employees, at a time when the country is on a high state of alert, uh, in, in a city like Lashkarga, the questions are uh, what sort of security was uh, put in place. Or you could also actually say uh, the Taliban strength continues to surprise <coughs> everyone. Uh, both here in Kabul and across the city. As you said, the, it, there were workers there uh, trying to collect their salaries. If, if I'm not mistaken, this was at the new Kabul bank uh, where this bomb went off. These were mostly government employees, we understand, trying to get their cash, their paychecks. Tell us more about this really, what this really says about uh, the state of security in Afghanistan that you were just talking about and the fact that they knew in advance that government workers would be collecting in this area. I think it's hardly a secret. Everyone knows Eid is on its way. People will be doing their shopping. Yes, there were government employees. Yes, there were policemen. But there are also civilians uh, who have bank accounts. Or you've got the father of, of, of uh, soldiers who got killed in the line of duty or they lost their body parts so that they couldn't come themselves. The district of Garamsir uh, has lost a lot of policemen in today's attack. You have to remember, these policemen are not getting killed uh, on the front lines. They are getting killed in what should be some of the most secure locations, where you're talking about the attack today or the deadly attack against the army base in the uh, northern city of Mazari Sharif in the month of April. And as I said, this demoralizing and dangerous trend uh, continues to undermine the confidence of the people. Uh, one of the biggest blows for the Afghan National Security Forces from now on could be that people will be now thinking twice, well, why should we send our sons, our brothers and family members to join the police and army when they are not safe uh, in areas where they should be safe? And uh, like with other attacks, we continue to see uh, a culture of impunity where government officials are not brought to justice in a very transparent manner. Uh, yes, you hear about commissions. Yes, you hear about investigations. But they really uh, do nothing. They're almost investigations on, on paper. Uh, but w one thing is quite clear from now on, that we're seeing a lot of brutality in this conflict. We're seeing uh, big proportions of explosives. Uh, uh, being used in these attacks in very crowded areas, despite calls by the United Nations and others in Afghanistan uh, to, to really respect those uh, spaces. And for the people of Afghanistan, what this means, that instead of celebrating for the people of Helmand after a very bloody uh, and painful few years, uh, they are finally going to be mourning the, 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 uh, their loved ones. And I think when you have a policeman who get killed, uh, you have a widow, you have orphans, you have entire families who are dependent on that. And also, if you have a police officer with years of experience working with tribal elders, knowing counterterrorism missions, when uh, he gets killed in, in, in such a fashion, I think it's only a heartbreak. And it's very, very unfortunate for Afghanistan. Okay, Bilal, unfortunately, we'll have to leave it there. Thank you so much for joining us there live from Kabul.